Welcome to Hana Talks Live TV. I'm Hana Gilman, your Relationship Mastery Mentor. I think the last time I did a nighttime video was when I was in Israel in October for my granddaughter's birth. Anyway, I just have to share a slice of life and how proud I am tonight. It, was, it just motivated me to come down here. I've had a very emotional day, a lot of crying about my mom. For those of you that don't know, she's at the end. I've been saying that for a good month, so, you know, whatever that means. <laughs> but today the emotions hit me hard, and um, I've just been very emotional, owning it, sat with her for a couple of hours, and I'm just blessed until she's not there anymore. But what I'm on here for now is that in the middle, hi Serena, in the middle of um, crying, I got a phone call from my son about an hour and a half ago. And I had a client call, so I couldn't come right down. But my son said, Mommy, I have some good news for you while you're suffering with Grandma. What's the good news? My son became a pilot tonight. Hi, Doron. He became a, a pilot. He's got a license to fly a plane. And why am I sharing this with you other than just being a very proud mother? My sons grew up in Israel. English is their second language. From the youngest age, the story here is about going after your dreams. From, we moved to Israel when my boys were three and a year and a half. This is the year and a half year old. From the youngest age, he knew he wanted to drive a tractor on a Moshav in Israel. Then as he grew up, he knew that he wanted to be an Egged bus driver. Then as he grew up, uh, he wanted to do a taxis. Then at 18, he flew to America. And he got his GED. English is his second language. He got his GED. He went to work as a security guard for a gorgeous part, uh, buildings on the Las Vegas Strip. Then he, high one, then he uh, decided that he wanted to work for an airline and be a pilot. And we started going around. I went with him to all of the pilot schools in Las Vegas. And where the, when there were Air Force shows here, we went to those shows. We interviewed the schools. We got brochures. I supported that dream in every way I could. Then he, dis, he became a customer service agent for Allegiant Airlines and was the number one employee for the year that he worked there, maybe almost two years. Then, <laughs> then uh, he decided that wasn't good enough. He needed to be, he wasn't going to be a pilot. It was so expensive and he needed, he was going to be an airline, a flight attendant. And he went on interviews and he told me I interviewed online and I got an interview and he flew to, um, I think it was Portland, Oregon uh, for an interview. And he was one of, I think, I don't know, they hired nine people maybe out of a hundred. I don't remember the numbers. He was the youngest one hired. And he became a flight attendant for Alaska Airlines. And all these times I have said to him, what about that dream? What about becoming a pilot? No, it's too much money. I like what I'm doing. And he loved being a flight attendant. You should be so lucky to fly with this kid. Anyway, when my father was still alive, Oliver Shulman, he was in his assisted living. My sons, when my son from Israel, they, when he was here and my younger one here, always used to visit their grandparents. And everyone knew that he wanted to be a pilot. And the people in the home started a fund for Yol to be a pilot. And each one gave two dollars. This is the senior citizens <laughs> in the assisted living. Each one, someone gave twenty dollars. Some, we had an envelope growing for the day that Yol would become a pilot. Anyway, it was years, and I just kept saying, "Do not, you cannot forget that dream. What about that dream? Follow that dream. No, I'm only going to be a flight attendant. Okay, about." I don't know now, 
four months, six months ago, he called me and he said, I have a surprise for you. I said, what? He said, I'm becoming a pilot. I'm in flight school. I'm taking lessons. And tonight he called me that he's a pilot. Now there's five levels. Um, he got his first level. He's a solo pilot, which means that if I fly up to Seattle, he could rent a plane and we could go fly. That makes my heart skip a beat. But the whole point of this story is that this child had a dream, and he raised a high, and he never gave up on it. And he had parents that supported him, and he did it. And now he's off to the next second level of those five levels that he needs. I am so proud of this child. I cannot tell you. English is his second language. This is what living, having a dream and living it looks like. This is it. I'll never forget when he was already accepted for Alaska Airlines and thought he wanted <laughs> He knows I'm making this video, but I hope it's okay that I say this. He wanted to uh, um, apply to Delta. So it's an online interview where they ask you questions and you, in, you in a camera, answer the questions. So he sat in his boxer shorts with a suit, a, a shirt, a tie, hi, Lauren, <laughs> and a suit jacket on. And he would answer the questions and then come out and say, Mommy, did I answer OK? And I would go look, and then we would tweak, and he sent it. Well, he didn't get accepted to that. But the fun we had that night in doing these interviews with him in the suit jacket up to his, from his waist and down below, you can't even imagine. It was hysterical. Anyway, he's not leaving his flight attendant job so fast, but he's going to go on to be a, another pilot. I, I cannot tell you how proud I am of my children. They are amazing humans. And I have to tell you also, I did my last video on my tires being slashed and it, that was it, exactly what I shared in the video. If you didn't see it, it's the one prior to this. And I was very proud of myself. I mean, I didn't think too much, but I understood I handled it well, the way I've always wanted to handle life as it hits you. And my son from Israel called me two nights ago, and he said, Mommy, I just have to say, I can't get over how you reacted to your tires being slashed. I said, what do you mean? He said, it was just another thing in your day. And after I said my horrible word three times with exclamation points, I moved on. And by the way, my car dealership accepted it as a claim, and it was fixed with no money uh, on my part to be laid out. So it, it all went well. Why I needed those tires to be fixed, I don't know. I may never know. But that's always a good question to ask. Anyway, that's my story. I've sobbed all day about my mother dying. I've cried all night about my son, how proud I am of him for becoming a pilot. And I have you people to share it with. It's so exciting to live life deeply, richly, and fully from the inside out. Do this inner work, people. Do the mindset work. Do the work on your thoughts that create your emotions, that create your energetic vibrations. It works. It works. And you don't have to be afraid of it. Don't be afraid to get to know yourself. It's breathtaking. Is it easy? No. It, you get, it's a hot mess because you have to die to be reborn. Be reborn. But it's so worth it. I'm living life today with expressions that I never dreamed possible for myself. And so can you. Join my private Facebook group, Relationship Mastery with Confidence and Dignity. I'll approve you. Hi, Debbie. And just wrap your head around a new way of thinking. Why not? Anyway, thank you for letting me share all of this with you. It is, 
I'm just a proud mama tonight with my baby cub. <laughs> Yol, you did it. I'm so happy for you. Shabbat Shalom. Have a wonderful weekend, everybody, and I will see you soon. I'm going to go cry again. I love you all. Have a great weekend. I'm Hannah Gilman, your Relationship Mastery Mentor. Bye-bye.